So we have some new models from Voss Steed, starting it off with the Mini Labrador, a little titanium frame lock with 14C28N blade steel. Cool little knife, and I think it comes in, yeah, two different finishes for um, the price that it is right now. Price is always subject to change, but $69. Not too shabby, 14C and titanium, titanium backspacer, titanium mill pocket clip, so not too bad and great access to the lock bar. It is very, very smooth. I like the sound of the detent when it closes. Nice and clicky. Yeah, super snappy. But like I said, you know, it is a small little knife. I would call it a three finger knife, but it's mostly gonna be a pinch grip knife. Um, nice thin blade, thin geometry, so it's gonna slice really well. And with 14C, it does best with thin geometry like this. Sharp and Joe plunge grind could be a bit better. They could could have, you know, fixed that up a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal on something like this, but you know, being a coated blade, I would definitely prefer it. However, they do have the plain version that you can get if that's something you'll be worried about. And 14C is a great stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about the corrosion. But yeah, the sharp and chill plunge rank could be better. Uh, it looks like it's T6s too. I'd prefer T8s instead of T6s. Um, other than that, you know, it, it does not have any milling, so, you know, to me, that doesn't matter because it's so, so damn light already. The name, though, Mini Labrador. Now, I understand why they said that, because they have the Labrador, and this is just the smaller version of that. But there's no such thing as a Mini Labrador. I mean, there's a Labradoodle. But uh, but anyways, cool little knife. You know, it's personally for me, you know, it's a little small. I, I It wouldn't be something I would be carrying around, but Caro, you know, this would be right up her alley. She'll probably love that. Now, the next one actually comes from somebody in the community. This guy is a content creator and now knife designer. So I'm going to link his channel down in the description and I'm hoping you guys will help me go and spam his comment section. I'm just going to link one video. So whatever video I put down there, just go and just just tag it up and say something about say something about corn. You know, like the food corn, say whatever you want, whatever you can do, you know, say that's really weird and just blow him up. He's going to see his comment section and be like, "What is going on?" He won't know what the hell to think. Got him. So this is his new knife or new knife design with Voss Steed. And I got to say, I actually do like it quite a bit. It kind of reminds me of the Kaiser um, Deviant. It kind of reminds me of the Kaiser Deviant, which I absolutely love. Now, it's obviously very different. Um, I'm not saying there's, you know, any copying or anything. I'm just saying, you know, it just kind of reminds me of it a little bit. Ergonomics are really, really well done. I do like the micarta. Decent quality micarta. I, you know, it, it, to me, this isn't premium micarta. This is mid-grade micarta, but it's decent mid-grade micarta. You know, the fibers are really consistent. It looks pretty good. It is something that's going to age over time. Uh, but the blade is a beautiful sheep's foot blade in 14C28N. The geometry is relatively thin. It's going to be a good slicer. Nice, strong tip, though, you know, because it's a sheep's foot. And you, know, you can see the, the tip is not super pointy, but, but you know, it would be pointy enough for utility cuts. Um, like I said, ergonomics are really, really well done. You can choke all the way up to that edge or choke back because it's micarta. It's nice and grippy. The button lock, this engagement, super duper smooth. Let's check the lock up. No failure. That's always a good thing. Um, the front flipper. Good jimping on the front flipper. However, I do always wish they would bring it all the way up to the top and around, even if it's only to there. Because this corner, you can get, you know, it's slippery. Granted, this one hangs up high enough. I tried to use it like a liner lock. This one does hang up high enough to where it's very easy. But it's just, you know, a thing where it's just like, just do it. Do it anyways, you know. Even if it's a great front flipper and it doesn't need it, just do it anyways. Especially for like this type of thing, like trying to reach, do the reach over. 
Now, this reach over is really good, so I'm not saying it's hurting it at all, but those would be the cases when it would really, really benefit. Deep carry clips inset with flat screws, not reversible. We do have TA hardware, which I'm happy to see. So TA hardware, T6 is on the clip, but I don't see his logo anywhere, though. That is one thing. Um, no logo from him. I try to look on the inside. I don't see anything. Um, now, as far as nitpicks and negatives, you guys already see one screaming. Sharp and joint plunge grind. Horrendous. Um, you know, it just, it's... Uh, yeah, it sucks. Um, the, it's a black blade, and when I sharpen this, I will sharpen absolutely without a shadow of a doubt. There's no way to avoid it. I will hit the plunge grind, and it will look bad. It's going to cut into there, so you're going to see this all cut from the stone when I go to sharpen it. Now, you know, I can try to sharpen up the blade as much as possible, but there's no way for me to avoid that plunge grind. So it would have been nice if they added a sharpening notch and separated the end of the plunge grind from the edge instead of hitting the edge or the plunge grind on the edge. Here's a good example of a plunge grind. So first off, this is what will happen. It's going to do this. So you see how when I sharpened it, it's sharpened all the way back here and, and sharpened into the plunge grind and it looks like a mess. Then also look, the tip of that edge right there is not even sharp. I mean, it's sharp, but you know, it's not hit with the, the, the teeth because it's so thick right there, it's harder to hit. And as you can see, it's starting to recurve. You see how this pokes down lower than right here. So eventually, as you keep sharpening, this is going to just, you know, start, come on. This is going to start recurving a little bit. Now you can try to add your own sharpening notch and everything in there, but uh, you know you just want to make sure there's nothing in the way. And with this one, there's nothing in the way, so this would be an easy one you could actually cut out yourself uh, because the plunge grind is internal. Rocks out lock up. I gotta give him that. Now here's a good example of a plunge grind similar to this one. So I'm, you know, because there's even better versions, this isn't, this wouldn't be the best example. It's just an example of how it could have been better. So just like this, see how the end of the plunge grind is moved away from the edge. Now this is like the worst case scenario. To me, I want it way bigger than this, but this is way better than this. Where I at least, and I've already sharpened this and lowered back my edge angle, by the way. So I uh, lowered back the edge angle really far on this. So this one's already been sharpened. And you know, you can see I have not hit the plunge grind and it's moved away. And we're talking about the end of the plunge grind, not the beginning of it. Now, here's another example of one that's really well done is you see the plunge grind starts here and it ends right there. It's hard to tell actually with this one. You can just see the shadow when you look at the plunge right there. See how the shadow hits right there. So I have all this life to sharpen off before I hit it. A perfect example. This to me is a perfect example. So the plunge grind starts here, ends here, and then look at all this life you have to sharpen off. That's a lot of life. That's a lot of sharpenings before I'll ever need to, to do anything to it. Now, I prefer as much as possible. The best, the absolute best, is actually the CRK Sabenza. The Sabenza has literally the best plunge grind in the knife business. Um, the, the only other one that kind of is very similar to that is the CMB Predator, which has a very similar plunge grind as well. Anyways, um, I digress. It, it's awesome. It's a good knife, uh, solid knife, uh, great action, man. Very, very fidgety. Like I said, great, great um, ergonomics. This is gonna be a hell of a pinch grip knife. And you know, it's a, it's a, an attractive knife. There, you know, this is a very useful design. You know, there's a reason why a lot of, you know, companies use sheep's foot or a lot of people design sheep's foot bladed designs because they are just so, so useful. And with this neutral handle like this, you can cut straps, you can cut forward, you can do utility cuts. You can basically do everything, but I mean, you could even do the gas station knife fighting grip, but you know, not really that type of blade shape, but you could do it. Anyways, there you guys go. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.